so hi guys i've done a quick video but i do another video he quickly about the marshmallow 6.0.1 on the samsung galaxy note 5 and 920 c um as you can see it's the new launcher you pull it down and then you got your notifications you slide it or just slide it down again and it brings up everything you can get rid of the quick connect there um it's really nothing else much different as you can see you can have it two types of icons with the round shade at the back there we could leave it as normal but we'll get into that later so we'll go in and I'll show you this is 601 as you can see this is the fish door 6.0.1 marshmallow as you can see it's I actually put this phone in Cambodia so I've got the update about four days now and anyway as you can see that's 6.0.1 we'll go into the settings slowly and I'll tell you what's different Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Mobile Hotspot obviously none of these here are the same so you got this new one called Smart Manager already takes you into Smart Manager applications is just as you can see it's the same thing and you scroll down you got the Google that takes you to Google settings um, if you go into that default you've got your default applications and then you got device assistance app and if you tap into it you got this device assistance app google app obviously but yeah you go into it it takes you in there but i think that's i don't really know what that's for but anyway we're back out you go down sound and vibration you go down obviously it's not, not nothing really different like it's just more Organized now, I guess. Notifications. That that's all your notifications and stuff. You can press the advance. Takes you in more deeper. Like that. Um, get back out of it. Do not disturb. Obviously, you guys know what that is. Display. Now, I was telling you about the icons with the background shape. You actually go into display and you got icon background. As you can see, you could leave it like this, and it shows you with no round background, not like the Samsung stock, or you, like that. It makes it look all the same shape. I actually like it better, all the same. As you can see, everything else is the same. There's nothing different here in S Pen either. Advanced feature, as you see, quick launch of the camera, pop up, pop up view gesture. As we all know, make the screen smaller. One hand operation is here, reduce screen size three times to the home button. So no different, they just changed the name. You got wallpaper themes. What I like about the theme when you go on 5.111, when you actually go into themes, it takes I mean is it themes now? I think it's um sorry, wallpaper it takes you out there, but once you press back, it keeps you at the home screen. This one it takes you back into the settings, so that's good. Same as that home screen, see when you go in into it, and when you get out of it, it doesn't take you back. This one takes you back to the settings, so that's that's good. Uh, lock screen and obviously security. This is where you go into info and app shortcuts, and on your lock screen, you can actually change the icons and what you want to have on your lock screen. So, right now, it's set to camera, so whatever apps you got. You can put it there as your lock screen, uh, lock screen shortcuts. Same as the right side as well. So obviously that's good that you can do that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and another thing is if your phone's encrypted on 5.11 and you update it to Ma update to Marshmallow, your phone stays encrypted. So you want to unencrypt your phone and update to Marshmallow. So that way, when you come into the lock screen security settings, you still have the option here which says protect encrypt data but if you actually um update your phone to marshmallow when your phone's encrypted you can't um decrypt it so with this one you have the option to encrypt it obviously if you go to that other settings it's nothing no different um privacy and safety so you got in locations you go in now you got, now you got this other one called improve accuracy so when you go into it Obviously here, Wi-Fi scanning improves location accuracy by allowing apps and services to scan for Wi-Fi network automatically, even while Wi-Fi is turned off. Obviously the Bluetooth one, the same thing. 
and I like to keep mine off because obviously it would drain a lot of battery and um, yep so you got app permissions that's as you can see all your app permissions there but, you know so yeah camera and you could actually change your permissions or you could go into applications okay where it shows all your application do it one by one and you got uh it's another way of doing it so you got private mode obviously all the same here accessibility all the same i guess accounts backup and resets so you can back up your account and you got auto restart now so you can restart your phone whenever see i have mine to um re re turn it off and turn it back on every monday at 3 a.m to keep my phone going and under reset you got three options now you got reset settings reset network settings and flash your data reset so that's good that they put that in you can back up to your samsung account and your google google account as well so that's good um, language and input the same battery obviously this is where you have the options to turn see what i'm um i think it's with the uh, android 5.11 with the Note 5, you didn't have the option to turn fast charge off. Now in here on the battery, you have the option to turn fast charge off and charge it normally. And if you have a fast charger, um, wireless charger, like the Samsung official one like what I got, and you can actually turn that off and on for the fast charging as well. Um, with the wireless charging, if you have the official fast charging one, it doesn't show up until you use it the first time, then it will show up here. Um, obviously storage let's show you the storage accessory same thing with the fast wireless charging and if you're using a, a SV cover like I do it will show up your little options there um, date and time obviously you may not, we all know what that is user manual about the device so I've got my phone to schedule every, every day at 2am you can actually change that and when I'm uh, this is just shows you all your stuff and it shows your number. Obviously, I don't care if people has my number, they can call me if they want. I'll say hello. Software info obviously, it shows you the version of your phone. And it, and this update came with the February patch as well, security patch. So that's good. So, if I go into Android version here, as you can see, now you got your Flappy Bird or Android Bird, whatever you want to call it. Okay battery info whatever um, what I've noticed now is um, you know how you can hook up OTG if you have an option under developer option you actually go in but I'll turn this on for now just to show you guys down the bottom here here USB configuration so whenever you plug it in you could pick whichever one you want I'll have it normal as MTP I guess so I could transfer stuff back and forward. You got charging stuff like that, but yeah, so you have that option. So that's pretty handy. And you get all these new options, I guess, like Wi-Fi, reverse, aggressive Wi-Fi, cell handover, allow Wi-Fi roaming scan, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So yeah, so that, that's practically really it, I guess, with um, the new 601 update with the Marshmallow. So if you actually go into settings, you got as you can see the icons, newer stuff like that. So you got the themes, and if you got internet, it will show you recommend recommend that recommended themes as well under here. And obviously, you can go and press more themes, take you to the theme store. And you have the option like I actually have the widget, you know, the icon on my app. And in my list drawer, so I actually like it that way. So I go in a lot quicker, straight to the theme store, instead of having to go on that two step process. And yeah, so there's nothing much different. As you can see, the theme store is a bit different, the Galaxy app store is a bit different as well, as you can see. That's it there, slide it that way, you can see your options there, and stuff like that, and all those goodies. You, you do have, um, you can do it now and tap, and I'll show you that. You press and hold the button, and now and tap comes up. You do have those, and those has been good for me. Um, I've, I'm consistently getting five hours screen on time now.
with about 15 to 18 hours standby time so that's good and when I don't use it um, batteries only takes about from 100% the other night I was using it 100% when I woke up it only went down 3% so that's good but anyway as you can see you can get rid of the quick connect so you slide down press edit and you have the option to get rid of it there press done and then you slide it up and it's gone but um actually use it some people don't use it i i use it and that's it folks so that's a more quicker like in-depth like look of the settings and everything on 601 on um the samsung galaxy note 5 n920c